Dan Donovan here for another segment of Correct Me If I'm Wrong. Welcome to our wonderful Ottawa Life offices right here in the heart of downtown Ottawa. Uh, this week, our focus is on our series, You Can't Account for Stupid. And you know, that's one of the things in government, a lot of times you, you see stupid policies and you go, really, are they doing that? Are they really doing that? So here's the latest one. It's a gem, and I mean a gem, from the Ministry of Health and our misguided Minister of Health in Ontario, Eric Hoskins, who doesn't seem to miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity when it comes to stupid health policy. So here's the first thing he did. He announced last week in Ottawa that we are going to have a supervised injection site at the Sandy Hill Community Centre under the OASIS program. So basically what this means is that the people in Ottawa, and there's a lot of them, down in the Byward Market, who have drug addiction issues, if you walk into the Byward Market in the heart of the capital, steps from Parliament Hill, it's like the set of the walking dead. We have a number of homeless shelters down there and we have people with serious meth, heroin, crack, cocaine and other drug addiction issues walking around like zombies, committing petty crimes. It's been a big problem for the last decade. Now instead of doing the hard work, the hard work and necessary and required work to spend a lot of money and healthcare dollars to help these people get off their drug addiction, to move into the mainstream of society after they get off their addiction and to get away from the petty crimes that come with these drugs, we haven't done any of that. What the politicians have done is taken the shallow approach, the knee-jerk reaction approach. They're saying, hey, we need to do harm reduction. We're going to sustain these people on their addictions by putting them in a supervised injection site where at least they can go in the enclave of a nice warm office and have some public official help shoot poison into their arm. All funded courtesy of the taxpayers of Ontario. Now this is more than a stupid policy and I'll tell you why. The healthcare envelope in Ontario is limited as it is in most provinces. Everybody's seen the current battle between the provincial and federal governments on healthcare dollars and the provinces, including Ontario, whining on and waxing on about how they don't have enough health care dollars. Here's the problem with that. 40% of the Ontario health care budget currently goes to administration. Administration to manage health care. That's why we're paying CEOs of hospitals who are basically administrators a million dollar, million dollar salaries all the time, plus pension, plus benefit, plus vacation. It's why we pay for parking for hospitals. So this is healthcare policy that's just gone way off the rails. We turn around then and fund a safe injection site, but we don't make choices to fund retinal surgery centers. We don't make, we make choices then not to fund the operation of a guy like Aidan Wellsman, a 16 year old kid in Ontario, who this past fall needed a, he needed a $10,000 surgery to save his eyesight, to save this kid from going blind. This surgery, by the way, is done in other provinces. But oh, not in Ontario. Eric Hoskins said, oh, we're still studying this, right? But geez, he's got enough money to spend up $1.6 million to inject drug users in the Byward market here in Ottawa, but he doesn't have money for retina centers, he doesn't have money for Aiden Wellsman, but he's got enough money to pay CEOs at hospitals a million dollars. So the point is, we're making the wrong health care choices in Ontario. We've got this Frankensteinish kind of ideology that is perverting our health care system, our dollars, and frankly, it's really upsetting. I want to end on a final note. There are people in this province, tens of thousands of people in Ontario with type 1 diabetes. Type 1 diabetes means to live, to live. You need to inject yourself four or six times a day with insulin. And before you inject yourself with insulin, you have to use test strips to test your blood level. There are tens of thousands of people in Ontario, tax-paying citizens, who have to do this every day. It's a serious affliction. But for years, the Ontario government has refused to fund the syringes and the test strips, and in some cases, the insulin for these people with diabetes. So you're a person with diabetes, wanting to live a healthy life, trying to get by every day with the stresses of diabetes, and you have to watch as our minister decides, well, I don't have the money to fund that, but I've got the money to fund the injection of poison into people's arm under this Frankenstein notion of harm reduction. I'll tell you the only person that you're harming, it's the taxpayers of Ontario, the people of Ontario, and the perverse policies that, you're, that the government is pursuing has got to end.
all that to say, there'll be more to correct me if I'm wrong in our next segment. And thank you for joining us today.